A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city, they made a considerable number of disciples. They returned to Lustria and to Iconium and to Antioch. They straightened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, Is it necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God? They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord, in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Persidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they had arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you, and let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your, your friends, friends make, make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom, your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all his flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your, your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia. rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do, I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I'm going away and I will come back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. You, for I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, we heard about our Lord uh, giving his power's instruction, giving the greatest commandment of love, the two greatest commandments of love, to love God first and to love others as God loves everyone. He is uh, giving instruction to his followers about love, about the commandment of love, obedience, and also loyalty. Today, uh, the reading continues to discuss his will and his uh, desire for all of us, his followers. And he continued to teach us about peace, about hope. And our Lord's uh, Farewell words were about life, about joy, about light and truth, as he granted everyone the most important gift of all. Jesus offers 
peace to everyone. And he said, peace be with you. It's not just an ordinary greeting or wish. It's our Lord's love for all of us. <coughs> Today the world is in chaos. There is this difficulty and problems and many things that people suffer because of this coronavirus pandemic. There is even civil disobedience in some places. Because people are already uh, worried about their future. They want to work, they want to go out, they don't want to be uh, locked down anymore. Uh, there is this confusion. Uh, there is this difficulty in uh, anxiety and fear about the future. And also, there is still discriminations in other countries. There are problems and difficulty that many countries are uh, fighting with. And what is that that the world today uh, needs? The world really needs peace of Christ. We need Christ in our lives. Jesus tells us He is giving us His peace. Lord's uh, peace is, in, is different from what we know peace in this world. You know, a lot of people were um, uh, trying to find peace or wish that we might find hope uh, in, in this world, but His peace is different. His peace is about conquering our fears and troubles. The world, the world today needs Christ's peace. People need His love. The world's approach to peace is many times just avoidance of trouble and uh, refusal also to uh, face unpleasant things. And that's what we do sometimes. We just want to avoid, we don't want to face the reality we want to just avoid it, to refuse to face unpleasant things around us. But that is not what the Lord is offering us. What He's offering is peace which conquers fears and anxiety, fear of the future and uh, anxieties of what will happen next. The Lord is giving us His love and, and peace and uh, we also know that uh, the peace of Christ uh, is, is something that nothing can take us from the joys that uh, He offers. There, there's no sorrow, there's no danger or suffering that, that can make it less. The Lord speaks of His um, destination and ultimate triumph over the powers of evils in this world, but He gives us peace before He finally departed from this world. In the eyes of the world, we know that the cross uh, stood for shame, for humiliation and defeat. But the Lord went to the cross knowing that it would uh, lead to victory over the power of darkness and sin. 
Jesus also knew that he would return to his Father in glory and he sent us the Holy Spirit to continue to guide us, to enlighten us. And also the cross uh, really brought glory to Jesus and to the Father and it's the only way to glory, the only way to follow him. Lord said that we have to carry our little crosses in this life. We have to carry our fears and anxiety. But he gives us peace that would conquer everything, conquer our fears and our anxieties and our troubles. And so as we continue our celebration, we ask the Lord to give us that knowledge to know him more and that may our church and our day know the gifts and peace with uh, with trust in him and that may we continue to do the will and his commands as we walk through his life his name and now we pray for our church, for our community, and for ourselves as we continue to pray for our community here in Sosanville and here in Herno. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for the special intentions of Edwina, Alsa, and the special intention of, intentions of Gina, Anianus Aranita, Victoria Alonso, Mercy Lionel. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we also pray for all our OFWs, those who are working away far from their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all those who are suffering, for all those sick with coronavirus, all those who are dying, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. As we continue to pray for all our medical workers, we pray for our country, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for the repose of the souls of Ms. Tora, for Milagros, for Nancy, for all those who die in our community, and all of those who die because of the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord and all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual grain. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with fast by joy, Every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a seminary, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jaime our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have taught you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine kissing, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Lord Christ be the same.
for all those watching this live streaming and cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion, please join me in the spiritual communion prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priest of every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually to my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. So let nothing ever separate you from me. We can live and die in your love. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless everyone, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone.
and seraphim in unceasing chorus praise fill the heavens with sweet accords Fill the heavens with sweet accord. Oh.